Series 3 is finally here, ladies and gentlemen, and in today's video, we're going to be showcasing the last Legends of Ruins Pokemon on the channel. We showcased Shen Pao already, Chi Yu, Wo Chen, and now we got ourselves a Ting Lu team and a rental code for you guys to use to help you guys get to Master Tier in Series 3. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I already mentioned, we used to pass three Legends of Ruins Pokemon and we absolutely dominated on the casual ladder. But in today's video, we got Ting Lu and we're actually going to be able to use it on the rank ladder considering the rank season has started. And I got you guys with this one. But first Pokemon for today's team in today's team preview is going to be Lycanroc. Lycanroc is going to be paired up with the T-Tar, doubling its speed in the Sandstorm. This Pokemon is just amazing. It's got Sand Rush, the Focus Sash as its item. Then it's got Endeavor, Close Combat, Bulldoze, and Rock Slide, which is a pretty typical moveset for any Lycanroc. T-Tar is going to be our second Pokemon on today's team with Sandstream. Pair up with that Lycanroc and the Choice Band as its item. Obviously, its terror type is going to be flying, the best terror type for any T-Tar. Then it's got Rock Slide, Assurance, Low Kick, and Terra Blast. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be Annihilate, and this Annihilate is here to bulk up and do some big time damage. It's got Defiant, it's got the Leftovers, Drain Punch, Rage Fist, bulk up like we already mentioned for that attack and defensive boost, and protect for our final move. Fourth Pokemon for today's team is going to be the star of the show, the boy, the deer, Ting Lu. It's got Vessel of Ruin, and what this ability does is it lowers special attack on the field by 25%. So if we're going up against special attackers, this Pokemon is going to be amazing. Drop that special attack stat, and you can pretty much just roll out there and outbulk a bunch of Pokemon. It's got a, the Salt Vest to make it even bulkier up against special attackers, and then it's got Ruination, Body Press, Heavy Slam, and Snarl to actually drop more special attack stat. So again, this thing is an absolute monster up against special attackers. It can pretty much just outbulk them no problem. Fifth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Armrouge. We got Armrouge and, and the Indeedee combo in the today's team. And for Series 3, Armrouge and Indeedee isn't really going anywhere. It's still very, very strong. It's still very powerful. But it definitely isn't as powerful as it is in Series 2. This one has weak armor, the Shuka Berry as its item, rocking Expanding Force, Armor Cannon, Clear Smog, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be Indeedee, like we already mentioned, and Indeedee's really good for two reasons. One, it's going to be able to pair up with Armrouge, and two, it's really good on its own just for a support Pokemon. It's got Psychic Surge, Safety Goggles, Psychic Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. Guys, you want to write this code for yourself? Not the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Series 3 rank Double Ladder and look to grab some wins with this Ting Lu team. We are 0-0, zero and, zero and we are back down in the Great Ball tier, so the Master Tier Ball Push starts now it starts right now but i'm super excited to go up against a bunch of different legendaries right we didn't ever use ting lu yet i feel like that uh wo chen is going to be my main thing when using in this series but it's definitely going to be a lot of fun we're going up against a shen pao team for match number one alongside with dan dozo and tatsugiri i l really do like having indeedee here and armors and the reason being this thing has clear smog and i didn't want to lead this thing i want to check its summary and i want to see its terror type and that's grass that that's big time that is definitely big time. So I might want to bring in both of them, right? Bringing them both in could be good. I could lead Ting Lu. I mean, they don't really have too many special attackers here. So I don't know if I really want to bring him here in match number one, right? Do I really want to bring him here in match number one? Oh, dude, he's so sick. He looks awesome. He looks amazing. But I could go T-Tar and Lycan Rock. Not a bad combo for the lead. I think I can get down with that. I think I can get down with that. So you know what? I'm going to lead both of them. I think we're going to bring in DD Armrouge. I think we don't bring Ting Lu here in match number one. I don't like it that much. I really don't like it that much. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I really do wonder who they're going to lead. Like, Fluttermane would be annoying to lead because I would think I would have to terrestrialize my T-Tar. But I kind of want to save my terrestrialization in case Don Dozo is there, right? Definitely options for us. <laughs> but Dragonite Shen Pao is going to come out here. And I feel like from here, we just hard swap T-Tar into Indeedee, right? I feel like that has to be a play, right? Because if you're going to go for E-Speeds, I'm going to go take the uh, terrain. And we're going to roll off from there. So I really do like that. I really do like this hard swap here. I don't want to be taking E-Speeds left and right. Actually, E-Speeds, not bad. I don't mind staying on the field with these two, to be honest. Right? What are you really going to do with E-Speed? A little bit of damage to my Pokemon? That's fine. That's fine. So at this point, I just think we rock slide here, right? Double down on the rock slide? I'm trying to think of what moves Shen Pao has. Ice moves? I'm not worried about it. We're doubling down with these rock slides. It's just free. It is just really free here. So I was worried about 
the, the E speed, but again, it's not very effective. It's not going to do any crazy damage to us. So Rockside's now going to fly. It's going to get blocked by the Dragonite. Can we get off it? Can we land it on Shen Pao? We do. How much damage are we doing? Big time damage. Big time damage on the Shen Pao. And we're going to go for another Rockside, which we outspeed the Shen Pao. That's a little weird. That is weird, but I'll take it. I'm choice banded in that. We get rid of Shen Pao, no problem. So, no Legends of Ruins on the field. We rip in that Pokemon turn one. Lovely. So, no more Ice Spinner unless Dragonite's rocking it. But I like where we're sitting. I like this lead for us. I like this lead for us. Danthos is going to come out here, and this is exactly why we have Indeedee. Or not Indeedee, Armors. So, that Pokemon comes out here. Uh, I just go for another Rock Slide here, right? Rock Slide into another Rock Slide? I could try to sash up. That's really what I want to do is sash up and then land it at Endeavor. But the problem here is going to be the E speeds. And at this point, I'm just going to I'm gonna rock slide here. Double down on rock slide. He ends up withdrawing Dragonite and he's going to go straight into Tatsugiri. So I'm kind of hoping, I'm really actually hoping he triggers my Focus Ash here onto my, onto my Lake of Rock. That would be the best play. That would hands down be the best play. Or maybe we just get a flinch, but I'm waiting for my focus dash to actually pop onto my Lake Rock just so I can endeavor into this thing. Endeavor's really good. So if you guys do not know what that move does, it matches the HP of what you have. So if he triggers me down to one HP on my focus dash and I hit him with Endeavor, I'm gonna bring him down to one HP. It's amazing. Wave Crash comes out here, and you take out my Titar. Okay, that's fine. I don't I don't really mind that. I don't mind that. So from here I could just go in DD. I could go in DD, and I might just protect in DD. I might just protect Indeedee. And the reason I want to go into Indeedee is because I want to force the super effective shot onto, onto Lycanroc, right? So I'm going to go Indeedee here, set the terrain, <coughs> just protect. That's exactly what we're, we're going to do. We are just going to protect here. And I might even like lower my defense or something. I don't, I don't really know. But yeah, just protect this Pokemon here. And go for a... Go for a rock. I don't really want to go for rock side because again, I want them to hit me. So maybe I'll lower its speed set here. Yeah, I think I'll just lower its speed set. Start dropping its speed set. That's fine. I don't want to go for rock side because I do not want to flinch it. I really don't want to. I want it to actually hit my Lycan Rock here. That's all I want. That is all I want out of it is to hit my Lycan Rock. So we go for the bulldoze. Hatsugiri dodges it. Indeed, he's going to block it. Bulldo's gonna hit the Don Dozo, do like three damage. But again, we are hoping that you're just gonna go after Lycan Walk with a wave crash. No, and I think he knows what he wants to do here. I think he knows. I think he knows. I think he's sitting here. He's like, he's like, okay, I can't hit this thing. So he's playing it slow. He's playing it real slow. We got some buffets chipping on it. It does have leftovers, so the buffets are neglecting the leftovers. And I guess we just start hitting this thing, right? I guess we just start hitting this thing. We're just going to go for Psychic. We're going to start trying to flinch it, I guess. Best option, right? If he's not going to go after Lycanroc, we're just going to keep hitting this thing. So Rockside's going to come out here. Hatsugiri dodges it. It's landing on the Don Dozo. Chipping up a little bit of damage. And Wave Crash finally comes into this Pokemon. We don't mind that. Oh, that goes into Indeedy. Wow. That ripped into my Indeedy. That did rip into my Indeedy. And he's going to take some recoil. Okay. So from here, I could clear Smog, but I feel like we're fine with just going for expanding forces, right? Expanding force will kill. Clear smog, there's no point. So wow, he's going to keep my Lycanroc on the field. We'll keep Lycanroc. Tatsugiri, he still has Terrestrialization. We still have Terrestrialization as well. Obviously, this is going to be our best bet right here. But I don't know if I swap typings. Do I really want to swap typings here with any of these guys? I mean, obviously, expanding forces are play. Uh, expanding force will finish off that Dozo. And... We just go for rock slide? Yeah, I mean, rock slide's our best bet. How many turns left in terrain? I think we should have at least two. We have three. Okay, three is beautiful. Three is lovely. So rock slide's gonna come out here. And we're gonna expand it for us. We're looking for the flinch. Oh, we should have terrestrialized. Don Dozo dodges it. Just for an EQ. We should have terrestrialized. We do have Shuka Berry, though. That's fine. So Shuka Berry's gonna help us eat there. We definitely should have terrored there. Definitely should have terrored. And weak armor's popping. So my defense is down, but I get a nice lovely speed boost. And from here, we should be able to take out Don Dozo. No problem. Get rid of it. Expanding Force popping. And I'm a little worried about the Tatsugiri, right? 
I'm a little worried about the Tatsugiri. If that thing's twist scarf, ooh, could be a problem. Could be a little bit of a problem. Sandstorm's gone. And little Tatsugiri pops out here. <laughs> now he throws out Dragonite. He still has Terra. I still have Terra. Uh huh. I think I just terrestrialized you, right? Expanded Force, 100 percent reply. And I guess we'll just go for a rock slide. What do we go for the Endeavor? How fast are you? How fast do you like a rock? Because you should be potentially faster than than the armors, right? How fast armors? You're 164. You're 118, but you're only plus one. Armors is going to be faster, so there's no point in going for Endeavor. There's no point. So we're just going to go for a rock slide. There's no point. So we're terrestrializing. I think they still have Terror, too. So this is coming down to it. This is definitely coming down to it. I don't know if, if they're going to swap typings. We definitely should have swapped typings last turn just for our uh, armors. Would have been great, but we're thriving. I think we're thriving here. So we're going to terrestrialize here. They cannot use E speeds, which is big time for us. Unless they waste out two turns, because there's still two more turns left in terrain. But expanded forces are coming in hot here. Dragonite ends up protecting. That is fine. And Tatsugiri, what are you going for? Do you outspeed me, Tatsugiri? You do not. You do not. Can we just kill this thing? Can we just kill the Tatsu? Just get rid of it. Big time plays. Big time plays. So yeah, we definitely should terrestrialize the turn earlier, but I still think, think we're thriving here. So we, we have one more turn left in terrain. He can terrestrialize, but if I had to guess, it's a normal terror, right? Or, or possibly flying. But the best part about this is he does not have multi-skill anymore, considering we did like one buffet damage. So it works really, really good. I could endeavor it. I could. Should I endeavor it? Or do I just rock slide? Because again, what's called does go first. Armorage does go first. So I just think rock slide is going to be a play. He can't eat speed. So, Spanning Force comes out here, chipping up some nice damage. Almost KOing it, and this is why I didn't want to endeavor. It's because Rock Slide could just pick up the KO from here. If we would have endeavored, we would have put it on 1 HP. He could have KO'd one of my Pokemon and then E speed. So, good call from us. Match number one in Series 3 goes to your boy. We're sitting 1 0 undefeated. So, guys, we are 1 0 to get things started. And it ranked me up to Ultra Ball tier already. Absolutely amazing. I feel like if we win these next two battles, we could potentially be in Master Tier in three battles. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. But we're hopping into our second match. And no Legends of Ruins Pokemon. We're going up against an Earthworm and Garchomp team. With Leafeon, Talonflame, Palmot, and Belly Bolt. So three... Mm, oh, are these all physical attackers? Wow, think they are. Tingler's not too good here, right? Leafeon's physical, Earthworm's physical, Garchomp's physical, Palmot's physical. Talonflame is physical. This is awful for us. I would love to bring in Ting Lu. I don't think I can. I really want to. I might just throw it in the back end. I might just throw it in the back end, to be honest with you guys. But I might just go in DD Armors, right? Seems like it rips. Seems like we can get after it. So I'm going to go in DD Armors. I'm going to bring Ting Lu in the back end, just have some fun with this one. And ch -ch 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 -ch, last but not least, could go Annihilate. Could go like a rock. I can go T Tar on its own with Choice Ban. T Tar's not bad, bad with Choice Ban. Hmm. Hmm. What is the play? I mean, Focus Ash is good. Annihilate's a beast. Let's go Annihilate here. Right? Yeah, I get down with some Annihilate. Let's do it. So we're going to bring Ting Lu in here. Maybe he can come and clutch up against the, uh, <laughs> the Belly Bolt. But again, all physical attackers. What is going on today? What is going on? If I had Wu Qian, Wu Qian would just steamroll this team. Leech Seed City, no problem whatsoever. I would intimidate with Arcanine on, with, my, with the Wu Qian team. It'd just be game, set, match. But he's going to end up leading Palmot and Talonflame. Looking for the fake out Talon set up potentially. We have the Psychic Surge. And from here, it's just expanding force, right? <laughs> it seems too easy. <laughs> <laughs> it seems too easy. So expanded force is gonna come out here, and we're just gonna send it into these Pokemon. Gonna hit on both, and I could follow me. I could help in hand. Ooh, I could definitely help in hand. But I feel like Palmot potentially could be Sash. So I'm just gonna double down into Palmot. A little bit of Palmot actually goes for the Brave Bird, and I'm protected by the terrain. Thank you. A little bit of Gale Wings action popping out there. And whoa there, whoa there, Palmot. That that Thunder Punch did a lot. And if you guys are wondering why Brave Bird Mitch missed, it's because it was first turn priority due to Gale Wings, and no first turn priority moves are allowed. So we get rid of Palmot, we're going to get rid of Talonflame, and we are sitting in an amazing spot. 
an absolutely amazing spot. So no Tailwind from them, and my armor just takes a little bit of damage. So I can follow me and get off another Expanded Force if they do not have double hitting moves. So second match looking good so far. And if they have Belly Bolt, oh, please have Belly Bolt. We would know it's game if they do have Belly Bolt. So my Ting Lu can just rip into it. It's going to be Garchomp and Belly Bolt. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I think you might be able to outspeed now, right? Might as well just do this and just helping hand. But I think Armouge outspeeds with the weak armor, right? Does that put you plus two? Oh, yeah, it does. You outspeed 100%. So this is just a helping hand play. And I got to sneeze. I got to sneeze. But I'm going to rub my nose. I'm going to say, hey, yo, no sneezing allowed. No sneezing allowed. But indeed, the armor is just ripping here. Expanded Force pops over here. It's too easy, man. It's too easy. I really want to use Tinglu. We got to use Tinglu in the third and final battle. No matter what. No matter what. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully things go well. Hopefully, hopefully things go well. We just go up, up against a bunch of special attackers. I haven't even got that Pokemon out here yet. I thought I would be able to get him out here in match number two, but... I mean, I get him out right now. But he's not going to do much. He's just going to sit there and lower special attack. So I'm going to bring him out here just to see what he looks like. And then we'll use him in match number three for sure. Faux show. He looks sick, though. I really do like his design. I really like his design. So he comes out here. Uh, we got Ruination, which is a really good move. Cuts the HP down into half. Body press because he's so bulky. Heavy slam because he's so bulky and big. And we got Snarl for dropping special attack. But from here, we are a... What typing is this thing? I think it's fighting, right? Oh, it's ground. It's a ground. Dark and ground. Dark and ground. And from here, I mean, let's go for body press. And we'll just help again this. But I think our opponent just cancels, right? Yeah, battle was canceled. We're 2-0, absolutely killing it in Series 3. Let's hop to a third, get Ting Lu out there, and grab ourselves a perfect record. Ladies and gentlemen, we are actually 3-0. I think it said 1-0 last time, but our my opponent disconnected in the third and final battle. So, like, we didn't even get to, like, see its team. It was, like, loading in, and we saw its team for, like, 10 seconds. They disconnected. We got an extra win for it. So we're technically 3-0, but I only battled two people sitting at 2-0 for today's video. And if we win this battle, we are in the master tier. We are in the master tier, which is absolutely amazing. But we are going up against another Shen Pao Don Dozo team. This is annoying because I really want to use Ting Lu here, and I am going to use Ting Lu. But it's annoying that there's not a bunch of special attackers. That's what this Pokemon is really good for, going up against special attackers. And again, it's going to be Arcanine. He's going to be here. We know Shen Pao is going to come out here. We gotta watch out for uh, Dragonite as well. So you know what? The Sandstorm combo is to play. We're gonna go Sandstorm. Oh, this is awful. We're gonna go Sandstorm. The E speed's a problem. Sandstorm's obviously a play. We're gonna bring Ting Lu in the back end, and I really wanna have you. This is terrible, because I really wanna have both of these guys too. I wanna have everybody. I really do wanna have everybody. But I'm bringing Ting Lu in here. If we lose this battle, we lose this battle. It's not big of a deal. Um. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I do have Endeavor. I do have Endeavor, which I like. Uh, bump, 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 bump. We could go Indeedee just to counter the E-Speed. But I feel like if we just go Annihilate here, he can counter E-Speed Dragonite too. So I like it. I like it a lot. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. It's time to grab ourselves a winning record. Or not a winning record. A perfect record. But if they lead, ooh, if they lead Arcanine here, that's a little scary too. That is definitely a little scary, but we'll deal with it. We shall deal with it. It's going to be Arcanine. My heart, my soul. So he's gonna swap Arcanine pretty easily here, right? I feel like he has to swap Arcanine. So Intimidate comes out here. I might even swap my T-Tar. I might even swap my T-Tar into a Pokemon like... Could go you. But I mean, your super water's gonna kill you. Look how much HP this thing has. I think I'm just going to you. And uh, I could start slowing down. Oh, that could Defiant boost me, too. Ooh, that could Defiant boost me. I'm going to Rock Slide, just in case he wants to stay in here with Arcanine. Nope, there's a Withdrawal on Arcanine. We could look to get a Flinch here, too. But I'm hoping he goes after Lycanroc, because, again, we can Endeavor this thing. We can Endeavor this thing. So, Commander, this thing's hopping in the mouth. I think he do go after Titar, which is kind of scary. Because I don't know how good Annihilate could actually eat up here. 
We'll see. We shall see. But we're hoping he can pop the sash and we can just endeavor this thing next turn. We are hoping. Because that's a big time counter to Dondo, so it's just endeavoring it with like Rock. So we had a part swap, and Rock Slide is going to fly. We're chunking up a tad bit of damage, looking for a flinch, and hopefully, oh, we go for an EQ. That's actually fine. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I, that Don Dozo's dead. Don Dozo's dead. We like it. That's huge. Because I protect my Annihilate here. I'm going to get back my leftovers HP. Buffets will finish off the Don Dozo. I don't think he has first turn priority, right? So I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Plus, I can keep endeavoring. I can just keep endeavoring. And the reason I want to protect an Eye is because Don Dozo won't go down until Buffets happen. So oh, I'm cool with that. I could Terrasize into water and then bulk up. But no, I'm, I'm just protecting him. I'm just going to protect him. Endeavor coming out here. Right into Don Dozo. Let's see how this one plays out here. So we protect the Annihilate. Endeavor's going to fly here. Bringing this thing down to 1 HP. We love it. We love it. Wave Crash gets blocked. Nobody takes damage this turn. Woo! We like it. We say bye-bye to Don Dozo. And I can Endeavor another Pokemon. Dope, dope, dope. Awesome. Endeavor coming in clutch. So we still have Tinglu in the back end. Uh, Tetsugiri's out here. We still have Titar in the back end too. Which I, which I like. I like a lot. We get back some leftovers HP. I think leftovers and Buffets are doing about the same damage, right? The Tatsu's here. We could Rock Slide here as well. I doubt he goes into Arcanine Trigger's Defiant. I would like that, but I doubt it. And he does. Okay, so Defiant boost is back. Defiant boost is back. So we are plus one. And you are minus two. So from here, I'll just go, go for the Drain Punch into Tatsu and... I'm just going to Endeavor Arcanine. Endeavor's free. It's free right now. It's free. So Arcanine is dead after his turn. will Lewis flies here. That's fine. He's just going to burn me. We get rid of Arcanine. We're going to do some damage onto Tatsu. And hopefully we get Lycanroc for another turn. Because Lycanroc is just ripping here. Muddy Water comes through here. And that's going to land. So Annihilate's able to eat. Arcanine goes down. Lycanroc's going to go down. And now I can bring out Ting Lu, right? Dream Punch comes in hot here. Chip it up a little bit of damage. We get back some HP. I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And I feel like with Ting Lu here, we kind of just ruin Nation and we just start half damage on the Pokemon. I think we're cool with this. We still have Terra too, which we might want to save for T-Tar. A little bit of T-Tar Terra action. Rage Fist isn't bad here right now too. Because Rage Fist is starting to stack. It's starting to stack, so it might, it might do more damage than most. So from here, I'm going to bring out you and... Oh, this thing has safety goggles. I, I see you, Arcanine. I see you, Arcanine, with the safety goggles. We're very bulky. So I'm going to bring out you. Snarl will KO you, which is good. And I'm just going to Rage Fist you down. So Rage Fist into a Snarl is definitely a play. And the safety goggles on the Arcanine. Actually helped him out tremendously. But yo, Endivore, Lycanroc. Woo! Big time for us. Big, big time for us. That was big, big time for us to have that and that's what i was trying to do in match number one but our opponent knew what we were trying to do and was like nah yo i'm not going after the lycan rock <laughs> and that's why you gotta watch out when you're going up against lycan rock but flare blitz flies here can you soak you do so you're gonna be able to get off one more turn here you're gonna ko yourself to uh recoil damage and then we just get off a rage fist and a snarl actually tatsu's gonna go first so muddy water flies through here that's gonna take out annihilate deal a little bit of damage to my to my what's it called to my Ting Lu. And this is why it's able to soak so much. Did we just miss a Snarl? Well, we missed a Snarl. But we have Assault Vest. This thing is special attacking. I think we're fine here. We have our physical attacking uh, T-Tar in the back end. So we're going to bring him out there. Tatsugiri is just doing nothing. So Tatsugiri is doing nothing. We kind of just have to worry about this other slot. I can just start Snarling down. And then probably Terrasalize, right? Oh, it's going to be Shen Pao. Ooh, Shen Pao. How do we play up against this thing, actually? Do I Terrasize? I might just Terrasize my Ting Lu. I mean, that thing's Dark type. Dark and Ice, it has a fighting move. It's, it rocks Sacred Sword. I am going to Terrasize you. I am going to end up Terrasizing you and popping a Rock Slide. That's my play all day. Oh, you can't even Terrasize these Pokemon. Wait, can you? 
Or is it just because I terrasalize the other one? Let me see. Oh no, you can, you can. So this one is a water terrasalization, but I'm gonna go all the way back, terrasalize my T-Tar again, pop a rock slide, and I feel like we just have to double down into into you, right? I'm gonna snarl just in case. Cause rock slide's gonna do some killer damage. It's gonna do some killer damage. So the problem with terrasalizing into flying is going to be Ice is super effective to us now. That's a problem, but I feel like if he hits us with a fighting move when we're not Thrasize, we automatically die, whereas we should be able to eat up an Ice move. We'll see. Ice Spinner comes in hot here into Ting Lu. Ting Lu is able to eat. Muddy Water, we might not be able to eat up after that. And then from here, Muddy Water flies. Ting Lu goes down. I don't mind that too much because I think Rock Slide... Oh, please land this Rock Slide. You really just got the Accuracy Drop. You really just got the Accuracy Drop. I need you to land this Rock Slide, Titan. Oh no, please hit the Shen Pao. Please hit the Shen Pao. No, you didn't hit the Shen Pao. That would have been game set match. I think we lose this now. Ice Spinner KOs us, right? Can we eat up an Ice Spinner? I don't think we can eat up Ice Spinner. We just lost. Are you kidding me? We lost to a missed Rock Slide? That hurts the soul. The so Terra finally comes out from this thing, and he's just gonna pop an Ice Spinner. That hurts his soul, man. That hurts his soul that we're going to lose this match here. That hurts his soul. All I need to do was hit the Shen Power in that last one. I wasn't worried about Tatsugiri. He's going to go for an Ice Spinner. This, this KOs is 100%, right? Yeah. It didn't really matter if we terrestrialized him, right? We probably should terrestrialize the Ting Lu, but... I don't know. You eat... Shen Pao's have fighting moves, so... It was a tough one for us. Definitely a tough one for us. But hey, 2-1 for today's video. This close to getting Master Tier in three matches. Not too bad. Missing that Shen Pao in the end really did me dirty. Would have loved to grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. And more importantly, getting a Master Tier in our first video for Series 3. But this team was absolutely amazing. Didn't really get to showcase Ting Lu too much today. Considering we went up against a bunch of physical attackers. But I'm telling you guys, this team is perfect for Ting Lu. When you're going up against special attackers, you bring him in there. You bring Annihilate or another physical attacker alongside of it. And then again, if you're not going up against uh, or special attackers, then you kind of just bring in the rest of the squad. You got Titar and Rock that can bulk up defensively due to the Sandstorm. And then you got Pokemon like Armouge and Didi that can just do crazy damage by themselves but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread spots every day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody